Hey, Bob. Happy annual You Didn't Die Day um, <laughs> after 50 years. <laughs> no, that... Jim is with us. <laughs> and here's Mike. Um, and Annie is uh, just around the corner. Um, last weekend, I was sitting in um, Paoli, just outside of Madison, and you had sent um, a text saying that it was your 50th anniversary of, um, you, didn't, you, you know, didn't the die. day you didn't die. Mm -hmm. And um, we're sitting, I don't know if you've been there, but mm -hmm. there's a, now there's this outdoor uh, venue where they play a bunch of music and Paoli and Mike and I and his brother, his brother Nathan and sister Sue were sitting there and Mr. Bojangles man came on. And that song always reminds me of your accident of that day because Brian was Mr. Bojangles' man. And uh, and so I thought it was incredibly, um, you know, I don't know, significant coincidence that that song came on as as you sent that text and as I was thinking about you. And, uh, and so we raised a toast uh, when we were in Paoli. And, um, and it's special that Jim and Annie are with us um, as, as uh, you're having this anniversary tomorrow. So we're raising a toast for you now. Love you, Bob, and wish we were there to, to celebrate with you. Bob, I was 11 when you lost your leg. Your courage and grit to continue to do everything you had always done swim competitively, snow ski, water ski, was truly an inspiration for me. And you continue to inspire me with your generosity and your love. So I'd like to raise a toast to you. I love you, Bob. Cheers. Hey, Bob. You know, with half the legs, you're twice the man of most men I know, myself included. Your one-legged approach to life with the Bobby G lifestyle is truly inspirational. I'm so proud uh, to be able to call you my brother-in-law. I love you, brother. This is Jim and Annie. We're calling you from Mackinac Island. We took a little trip over here, but it's your 50th anniversary of you losing your leg, but that never has slowed you down. Your cup has always been half full, and that has been a great inspiration to me personally. But we wanted to share a quick little story with you, which just comes to mind. It just shows how uh, great you've always handled your situation and your leg, and especially with the younger generation. So I don't remember if you, um, if you remember when you first started coming to Reno, and Tay was three or four years old at the time, and she, never saw you go to work so she didn't know you had your leg um, but she did answer the door one day when you came home from work and she saw that you had two legs so she her eyes widened she opened the door she looked at you ran upstairs to James and I and said mama daddy Bobby grew his leg back and she was so excited and happy for you. She said, you've got to come and see. So we went down the stairs with her and, um, and you shook your head, you smiled and you said, yeah, it's time for the talk. <laughs> Obviously she was so used to seeing you without your leg and you crutching. And that particular day you had it on when you came home from work. So we'll just never forget <laughs> that. And we're also reflecting a little bit on the story where James took you out of the hospital as you were recovering. <laughs> he unplugged you, threw you in a wheelchair, and took you home. Why did you do that? That was just making it happen <laughs> as brothers. <laughs> it was something that you wanted that day, and that was very important and really felt good about doing that, even though it was a little dangerous. <laughs> you, he but got you to know. see your dog, right? He saw, he saw our dog, but you know the rest. So Bobby, we love you and God bless. Take care, bro. Take care, we love ya. See ya. Wow, Bob, I can't believe it's been 50 years. You know, 50 years ago when this happened, we were just teenagers 
not wondering where we're going to be in 50 years from now. We're just thinking, what the heck are we going to be doing in um, a week from now or, or three months from now? And how are you going to start skiing again, water skiing and snow skiing? And, and how are we going to, how is this going to affect our partying in high school? Well, you attacked it with a lot of gusto and we just went out and, and we had fun. The time in the hospital was tough, but after you got out, we just pursued having a good life. And, you know, I've always admired you for that. And uh, going out west with you, skiing or learning, seeing you learn how to ski. And then three years of college where we had a blast and a lot of fun um, was just great during that time. And, um, and of course, you left out west under uh, cloudy circumstances in the middle of the night. Uh, but I want you to know your brother defended uh, you during that time. And I said all those rumors were not true. Um, I'm just kidding if you're in front of the rest of the crowd. But um, you went out there and you met Margaret and you uh, got married and you raised a family together. And again, you've had a really fantastic life. And if you look back over the 50 years, it's been a, a life well lived. And uh, I'm very proud of you. And the other thing I've really enjoyed is that although you moved away at that time, I've always felt very close to you. And it always seems like you've been almost next door. So... Love you, bro. Here's to 50 years. And um, Betty wants to say something, too, because she's actually known you for about 47 of those 50 years. So here's Betty just wishing you the best, too. Bob uh, and Margaret, great party for you, Bob. And we love and miss you both. Bob, you're always so generous and fun to be around. And uh, we've done a lot of work on our house this year. We are ready for you two to come visit us here. So uh, anytime we are ready. And Bob, enjoy your party tonight. Yeah, and Margaret, once again, thanks a lot for putting this together. Uh, you've been so supportive and so great with Bob, and, and we love you, and we love you both. Take care. Here's to you. We're doing a toast to you. Bye now. Good day. Good day, Bob Grogan. I understand it's a major event in your life that uh, occurred 50 years ago. Unbelievable. I've gotten a lot of the details of which I really wasn't that interested in because they, you know, this was a tough thing. And I admire you for not giving up and going ahead and not letting a simple thing like losing a leg destroy your life. I, I can only say I'm proud of you for being able to do that. And it's clear that you have made a success out of, you could say, a handicap, but uh, I don't even know a term to use for, for what, ha what happened to you. Uh, you have my admiration, my respect, my, my every good thing that I have to give. And you ought to be pleased and proud of what you were able to accomplish in 50 years of this major disaster. I think that's probably enough. Uh, uh, Jerry's going to have to say a few words too in, in, in this thing, so it all isn't, isn't up to me. Anyway, Bob, congratulations for making it 50 years. Congratulations. <coughs> for having a successful life, a successful family, uh, a lot of very nice friends, uh, everything that is positive. And I, I have to admire that phenomenon. Anyway, okay, Rob, well, good luck and hope you get another 50 years. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Hey, Bob. Um, Gosh, where to start? We're so happy that you survived August 10th, and we love you, and uh, looking forward to spending lots and lots of more fun years with you. Hope you're having a great time at our house. <laughs> Wish we were there. So, obviously, it's the day Bobby, Bobby G did not die, and you know what? Thank God, because you know what? If you did, you wouldn't be seeing all of that. And you've seen it all through the years. Love you, man. 
Thank you. We love you. Bobby, Bobby G. Wish you were there. Bobby, I hit an Everything eighth. in the bar is yours. Drink it up, big guy. I hit an eighth of weed in the mattress in my room downstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The rum there, just drink that rum down. I love you, big guy. We love you. Love you 50 Bye. years. Bye. Bye. Good evening, Bob. Um, this is a celebration, I know, of your wonderful life. And all of us are so happy, pleased that you have had a very fruitful life. Um, I just want to say, as your mom, it's very, very difficult for me to to go back and think about that that particular time, because the first thing was um, assembling everyone for the survival mode. But after that, and it was apparent that you were going to be able to make it, the most important thought in my mind was to have you keep a goal of a very optimistic attitude. And Bob, you did achieve that throughout your life. You have showed great courage and strength of character, and I want you to know that I couldn't be more proud of you than I am of anyone. You have made um, a very good life for yourself, along with a great helpmate in Margaret. Thank goodness for Margaret. You raised a wonderful family together. The two of us are, uh, the two of you are, are really have done a great job, not only with your old children, but with the grandchildren as well. And I am an eternally grateful for that. The legacy lives on. So have a great evening. Celebrate your life. You deserve it. Good night.